Hi, I'm Dr. Piers, and welcome to this video on how to add custom error bars onto column graphs in Google Sheets. We've all been there before. You do an experiment, you generate some great data, you make a graph, and then you just know you are supposed to add some sort of error bars onto your graph. So you do. You click a few buttons and voila, your graph is complete. But when you sit back and look at the finished product, you get that sinking feeling. And that's because adding custom error bars onto graphs in Google Sheets is not the most intuitive thing in the world. So let's get at it. But before I do, I just wanna make clear that this video is not about which values you should use for plotting your error bars. Some people plot the lowest and the highest values on a data set, while others plot plus or minus a standard deviation, and others plot plus or minus standard error of the mean. There's lots of different options out there, and you need to decide what is most suitable for your data. This video will simply help you plot those values once your decision is made. So let's on, head on over to Google Sheets and check it out. So here is the data that we generated in the lab. Uh, it's a photosynthesis lab and we just changed the different, we shone different colors of light on plants and measured their rate in photosynthesis. Did five trials of each. I have an average uh, rate of photosynthesis and I've also calculated the standard deviation. And that is ultimately what I want to put on as my error bars on my graph. Now, before I go ahead and make the graph, sometimes Google Sheets tries to guess what you want to do. Sometimes it guesses right, other times not so well. So I have found it helpful to actually get rid of some of these labels up at the top, especially if they're not spelled right, and, uh, and then graph it that way. Uh, and then I can add my labels as I want, and I have a little bit more control over that without having to fix the problems that Google Sheets creates. So let's go ahead and graph that graph that data and this is what this is what it looks like okay now you want to add error bars to that so under the customize bar under the series tab you scroll down and there's that magical box right there uh, and you're you, you go ahead and click that and it adds error bars and you're thinking sweet we are we are good to go we are not good to go uh, that is, uh, that's a value of 10%, which is fine, I suppose, but that is not what I want. I would like these values going plus or minus on the various bars. The problem is I cannot do that as the graph exists because all of these, um, all of these bars are considered to be a single series. And so when you add error bars to them like this, you're, you have to add the same error bars to each one. So this is not what I want. So I'm gonna to have to go back into setup and scroll down to the bottom here where you have to start playing around with these buttons to get the graph that you want. So if I go ahead and click on switch rows and columns, I get no data, that's not what I want. Uh, so I click on column A as headers, okay? That's getting closer, but I don't want all this empty space here. So I'm gonna click on this again, magically, don't ask me how. This is what I want. And I know it's what I want because each of the columns is a different color, which means now that they are their own series of data and I can treat them as such. So if I go back under customize now, and under the series, you can see that now if I go to the series um, drop down menu, I've got four different ones and I can treat them differently. And I'm going to add my custom error bars now. So I'm going to start with the blue one. Okay, uh, I do not want a percent. I would like a constant value. What is that constant value? I don't want it to be 10. I want it to be 0 0.43. So I'm just going to add that. Okay. And there you go. You've got the nice uh, standard deviation error bars. But what about the other ones? We have to do the exact same thing going through. It does tend to be a little bit tedious, but this is the only way that I know around it. So this I want to be 1.17. Then I can change my yellow one and I want it to, I want that error bar to be constant value of 0.76. And finally, I can change the green, add error bars 
I want them to be constant, and I want them to be 0.41. And now I've got my values. I just double check that yellow one. That doesn't, yeah, that looks, that looks about right. So there are my custom standard deviation error bars on my column graph. As far as how to interpret those, uh, that will be for a different day. And if you want more information on that, you can check out my video on standard deviation and standard error of the mean, what those things mean and how you interpret graphs. And I'll put the link in the uh, notes below. Thanks for watching.